and that increases the value of you know your country's currency and tax revenues and whatnot, right? So you want to, yeah, you want to attract the most talented people to build businesses on in your country. So same thing with you know block. So yeah, so I I think I had this other unique insights um, where blockchains are more like governments than they are companies. Mm. So I think the problem is that a lot of people are trying to run their blockchain like a company to where there's like an executive team, like the core developers, and they dictate all the changes and all the rules and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not what a blockchain is. A blockchain is a, an economic platform to where you have these rules that are set, yeah. that are predictable, and then once those rules are set and predictable and, you know, you know that people aren't going to change the rules out from under you, then they have the long-term incentive to build on top of your thing. And right. it's the people building on top of it that's adding value. It's not the yeah. developers, the protocol developers themselves to add value. They just yeah. set the rules to um, make the environment conducive to adding value, which is like predictability and stability yeah. Yeah. and um, yeah, and, 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 and whatnot. Yeah, so um, I, th that... I think you're highlighting one of the, the biggest problems with, with like uh, what was happening with Bitcoin, you know, pre, you know, like 2018 or something or two, well, 2017 when we got uh, BCH, mm -hmm. but it, it was that like the protocol was never fixed. Like there was this idea that there were these core developers and at some point, you know, they might decide, okay, now we want Mimblewimble or now we want mm. to build, like, uh, make uh, Bitcoin like a settlement layer and, and have Lightning yeah. Network as the where people transact. So there was, like, mm. never anything constant. Like, it wasn't the core idea of what was in the white paper. And so for me, like, when we finally got like a BSV, like there, there was like this very, like there was like a sigh of relief. It wasn't like uh, for, for uh, like this kind of BSV side, I, I feel it wasn't like, okay, the market has crashed and everything's doomed. It was like, oh, finally we got like, kind of like rid of all this, like oh, let's change the protocol into something unpredictable all the time. It, it became like, okay, we, we know what the protocol is because we have this very firm idea about what it is, which is like directly based from, from the white paper, like direct, like we, we don't want to change anything. It's just like scaling, you just increase the block size, like revive all the opcodes. It, it was like a very clear picture of what it will look like. So I think that helps to attract developers because you already know what to expect. It's like an internet protocol. It's going to be a stable base for building on. Yeah. 